everybody, what's up? It's your girl Amber Nicole Norris here, creator and founder of this online movement that I call Major Savages. Super duper out of energy today, but I want to explain to you guys my experience uh, over the weekend with the emergency room. I am driving right now, which I feel like I'm a pro at driving under medication circumstances, so I'm good. But um, I did go into work late today because I had a pretty stressful day just getting out of bed to be honest a lot of pain that was not resolved by my visit to the emergency room um, I went to Baylor uh, at Carrollton it's literally like two minutes from our apartment and I went there because James had such a great experience when he had his situation and we had to go there recently for him they had great staff and things like that that were very helpful um, now the situation was different because I do not have insurance at this time and um, you know, according to my brother, if you guys watch Shameless, they treated me like Frank Gallagher pretty much without insurance, to be completely honest. And it's funny, but it's also not funny at all <laughs> because, um, you know, I've never experienced the treatment that I experienced when I was there. And it's not to say that they were rude to me or anything like that. They were still pretty great with service and stuff. It's just as a matter of making sure that I got full service and I got all the attention that I needed. Um, I came in there with symptoms that have been going on for approximately two weeks, including uh, loss of sensation in my legs, the right leg more so than the left. Um, you know, I had blood in my stool a couple weeks ago. Um, I've had dizziness and double vision as well as migraines for off and on for about two weeks. Um, I was experiencing tremors in my right hand again. And so that's just kind of the basics of my symptoms and um, not to mention that I just was in the emergency room because they found inflammation in my wrist and so I'm dealing with that. Um, I just kind of been feeling like I'm collapsing lately to be completely honest and so um, Sunday or Saturday, whatever day, Friday, I don't even know anymore but I was just tired of it man. You know it's hard going through all this pain and just trying to stay positive and trying to stay on the up and up and I just couldn't do it in that moment and um you know I've already taken myself off of all my pain medications and so I am pretty used to just kind of putting up with the pain and just kind of faking it till I make it smiling through the tears you know whatever you want to call it but my lips are like looking really chapped right now and I don't like it but I feel like it's because of this medication because I have lip gloss on that's people driving in Texas y'all that ain't got nothing to do with me but anyways, um, so my symptoms have gotten to a point where I was just like, I'm not about to do this no more. You know, I'm tired. I don't know any medications that work for me that I can just go buy from the store. So I was like, oh, you know, I already went to the ER and racked up that bill. I'm in a bajillion dollars worth of debt with all of my health stuff before, but the pain was that bad. I had to go in and get some type of answers. I thought I was experiencing another relapse. And so it's like, I just need answers and I need some um, relief from this pain that I'm going through so I went in um, now I always just have a bad experience with them finding a vein now of course this happened again I told them immediately upon arrival I said listen I'm a hard poke don't let them poke me 50 times I already don't feel good I don't want nothing to do with that I said hey normally they can get um, a vein in my wrist with a baby needle or butterfly needle um, so you might you know want to try that now the lady just was so confident like they always try to do and she's like okay well I know they normally go in your wrist but I'm gonna try to go in your upper arm because I think they might have to get a CT scan on you or something like that now now she looks like a fucking dummy because not only did she fail four times by herself alone but I also didn't get a CT scan or an MRI or anything that would have been productive as far as helping me diagnose and figure out what was going on with myself and so it took eight pokes and three people to find a vein to even get the medication started for me and that's fucking ridiculous you guys are trained for this job and they wanted to keep making it seem like I was just an anomaly and went out of a million like oh my gosh you've got some good veins but they just they're running and they just don't want to you know they don't want to work with us listen here b-i-t-c-h I already told you that and I don't need you coming in here trying to be hopeful coming in here thinking you're the best because you're not okay and I don't care what training you've had none of that I don't have any special veins none 
kind of I'm not no alien nothing these are typical veins they run I told you that they run and you didn't want to believe me and you wanted to be hopeful and now you got my arms bleeding and bruised turning purple and green because you wanted to be hopeful and at first she didn't apologize to me and I was in pain so I really just had to contain myself my mom was there with me and I'm like okay my mom's not cussing her out so let me not cuss her out right now because whatever I said was not going to be very friendly or helpful to the situation whatsoever um you know it's not even that the needle pains or the needles bother me like I don't mind watching I don't mind putting up with the pain but it's like when they don't get the vein they start pulling it out and pushing it back in and doing all this stuff to try to maneuver and they'll be like oh I'm I was right there I don't know what happened okay me either but all I know is you need to take that out and start all over again and you need to go call a friend you need to phone a friend or something because this whatever you're doing is not working and so um yeah it took three people the guy that came in the third time was a minority hey shout out to you not gonna assume what his status was but um I know he was good at his job okay they were like we're just about to go get what's the name and they called him in there um now you know what he did when he was successful on the eighth poke he used a baby needle and my wrist just like I freaking said from the jump isn't that crazy and I know she felt like an idiot and like I said at first she hadn't apologized and I'm just sitting around like I'm about to get this apology like I don't know what you thought I'm sitting here in excruciating pain and you haven't even administered my pain medications yet and I've been here for like an hour and some change because you can't even find a vein like that's ridiculous that should be nursing 101 so I have no sympathy for that whatsoever I really don't as a patient and as a future medical professional you need to know your job and if you don't know how to do it you need to call somebody else in to do it nobody has time for Captain save a hoe or miss uh, hopeful miss optimistic in situations like that if I'm already in pain I came here to get pain relief not to get eight pokes in my arm with more bruises and things like that that's just completely uncalled for and by the end of it she's just like i'm so sorry we're in here treating you like a human pin cushion that's exactly what you're doing and i don't appreciate it at all and the fact that sorry i'm getting emotional because it's just like so traumatizing the experience as a whole is not it's not an ideal situation okay and you know i'm just laying there with people all surrounding my bed treating me like i'm just some lab rat everybody poking me everybody talking these bright lights while i got a migraine and you know i had the lights off but you need the lights to do the job that you're failing at and it's just a difficult situation and so they uh pumped me up with a bunch of these drugs i got uh what's it called i think it's called ativan uh solumedrol benadryl toradol Reglan, um, and some other crap and it, it was a nice little cocktail to put me to sleep temporarily next thing I know I'm woozy and I'm out of it and I'm loopy and the doctor comes back in like hey yeah so we're looking to get you out of here you know how does that sound and I'm loopy as hell and I'm like okay you know sounds good by this time my mom has already left and when I get in these states of mind I don't really know how to advocate for myself and how to think clearly but had I been thinking clearly I would have been like what do you mean send me home you know are you sending me home with medication so that I'm able to maintain because the thing is when you get sent home from the ER they may not always give you answers but they encourage or assume that you're going to be following up with another doctor so you can get refills or you can actually get a diagnosis or you can get care but they didn't set me up in a good situation because I don't have insurance right now and I told them that I'm in a probationary period until February 1 why would y'all not make sure that I had medications that would last me until that day? I don't even understand. So now I'm calling around to doctors trying to get in so I can follow up because my pain has not been taken care of still, which is why I hate going to the ER because now I just racked up another bill. I have no answers and no clarity as far as where the pain and things are coming from. I don't know if I'm entering into a flare or a relapse. I don't know how long it will last. I don't know anything still. Nothing more than I knew before. All I know is that they gave me short term pain relief and they gave me some steroids and things to take home and they gave me five steroid pills and I take those one a day I'm, I'm just really confused as to why you wouldn't even get me prescribed so it can set me up for the week not to mention I had to pay full price and you know I'm not I'm not saying I'm a person running from healthcare or anything. Obviously, I'm not. I was trying to be hopeful by not enrolling by saying, okay, nothing's going to happen during these months, which maybe wasn't the best decision on my part. But 
regardless it shouldn't be okay to treat people like this even if i didn't have insurance for extenuating circumstances there should be no reason that somebody should not have a full workup yes it costs you money but at the end of the day it would cost me more peace of mind than you know i personally am a person of service and i like to help people and i would put that money for myself if i knew that there were people that you know if i see that someone is in serious pain like the pain that i was in and you know this is like it's not like i'm a person trying to take advantage of the system or that i come in doing this frequently or that i'm coming in for a drug cocktail or for sympathy or anything like that you know my situation is valid and it's a situation that i'm working on and it's a one you know one time thing but regardless whether you know it's me or anyone else this is not a way that you can treat people it's just really not like it's really not you're setting people up for failure and I went like I said to follow up with the other doctors to see when I could get in and stuff do you know how long I used to work for the hospital do you know how long it takes to get a new patient appointment scheduled like that's not even a thing like especially in the zip code that I live in sometimes they are scheduling like months out for people that are new patients and yes that would work in regards to my insurance but again I'm looking for pain management at this time and then not to mention they are all looking for money down like the one provider that I'm really trying to go to in my area it's going to be $300 down for me even just to be seen by this doctor that's not including any diagnostic exams any x-rays anything that gets done at time of service nor is it including any prescription medications or not guaranteeing me any peace of mind anything at all that is just simply guaranteeing me an appointment and a conversation and I'm not okay with that you're really just out here taking advantage of people in this situation and I'm already in so much debt because of my medical bills it's ridiculous that I have to keep acquiring this debt even when I had insurance I've always had insurance this is my one of my first times letting my insurance lapse and that's because I moved out of state and I thought I was having I had a job lined up and it didn't work out that's the only reason but even if this wasn't the case like this is just like sucking someone dry like I learned from working at the job I work at now that every family is one hospital visit away from you know being in debt and that's just fucking ridiculous man I just can't stand that the United States has this system and I don't know what would be a more appropriate system I don't have any suggestions as far as what to do better you know I've studied abroad in Argentina before and they have universal health care but I don't know I you know even after studying abroad there and learning about it I don't know all the ins and outs and I don't know what they had to take from or give to implement that system as far as universal health care but I do know it's something to consider because this is people's lives y'all are playing with and not only would it affect me let's say I had a spouse let's say James and I were married that debt could potentially carry over to a whole new relationship and just set that up for failure and it's just like these are inevitable things that are happening with me so it's not fair that I'm like I'm already a minority I'm already a woman the odds are already just not in my favor and now when it comes to me having a a disease like I'm battling this and y'all really trying to get me hooked on these medications and y'all are really not caring about what's going on with me and it just like sucks man it sucks I've considered going back to the ER but I don't have the energy I don't like all I've been doing is crying and I don't have like the strength at this point I don't have the money at this point like I know some hospitals have charity things and I'm going to try to sign up for that for this these two hospital stays that I just had that were pretty short and I know they're about to charge me thousands of dollars and I'm just over it man but that's why I say I got Frank Gallagher at the hospital they treated me like I was just a number like I was just a nobody and I didn't like it man they they were nice as they could have been but the symptoms that I had there's no reason that they shouldn't have done scans there's literally no reason like the symptoms I've been having absolutely called for there to be brain scans done and it's not like I'm running from my debt you know although I don't have insurance who said who's to say that I don't have the money in my pocket and that I'm not about to pay in full I wasn't but you know like you don't know that and they're just passing these judgments and simply moving on to the next patient trying to clear a room because of these circumstances and they're assuming that I can't pay and so 
I'm just like so extremely overwhelmed and it's just not even about myself you know I always think outside of the box and I'm so stressed out for everyone else that has to go through this situation you know I hate even telling my dad that I'm sick because I know how much it impacts him to hear that I'm going through these circumstances so I can only imagine being a parent one day and having to hear that your child is going through what I'm going through grown or not you know that's it's never comforting especially to be a parent that wants to take care of it and wants to provide the answers and doesn't want to see their child in pain and is willing to go to extreme lengths to get that done you know y'all about to have my dad acting like John Q up in this beat you know like acting like John uh like Denzel Washington did in that movie for his son because y'all are really sometimes potentially driving people to this insanity or to feel like they need to make these changes or do these things to provide for themselves or their family and it's just like ridiculous but here I am you know I went to work today I pulled it together as I always have to do as a member of this society and it sucked man and it's gonna suck when I have to go back tomorrow and it sucks that I went to the hospital before Christmas hoping that I'll be able to have a good Christmas holiday but I haven't seen much progress because my pain is still not under control and that's the whole reason that I went in and I came out with the same shit but whatever I just wanted to make a video about it reflecting about my time because I don't appreciate it and that's one thing that I'm really gonna work to change when I get into my medical profession, whatever that may be, I'm definitely going to be a, um, you know, medical professional. I don't know exactly what that looks like just yet because my path has been so non-traditional, but I guarantee that I'm going to open doors for people that are in my situation and that are minorities and that are dealing with this stuff that is like things that you have no control over they say like don't let things that you can't control control you and don't worry about the stuff you can't control but who's not going to be worrying about this shit you know this ain't something people lose on sleep at night because you owe this debt and i'm trying to work on my credit and this and that as i grow and mature into a young adult and this is not helping you know and it's just a mess it's a hot ass mess but um that's the most recent update i've been to the hospital twice I don't have no answers. They just said it's probably this, it's probably that. Take this, take that, pay for this, pay for that. And that's pretty much been my experience. I'm not saying it's any one person, any one facility. This is just the way it is. And I'm not okay with it, man. I'm really not. I don't know if I need to move outside of the United States. Like James was joking this morning, like, baby, trying to move to Canada. I'm like, Sh I mean, shoot, we might have to look into that because I can't, I can't live my life like this and not having a solution and not having any answers. It's honestly ridiculous. I don't know, you know, every morning I wake up, it's already a guessing game. Like, damn, are my legs going to work today? I don't know. They might feel like it. They might not. Every morning and afternoon, I'm already wondering if I'll have full function of my limbs. And so just having more non-clarity or just more, just spontaneity and more negative news or or lack thereof no news at all it's just not good news and I'm staying prayed up I'm keeping my faith strong because literally I I don't know how I've done it man it's nothing but God like it's nothing but God because I have some very dark times that y'all don't get to see you know very bad times bad times bad thoughts bad feelings bad emotions bad just bad okay bad 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 that's all i can say about it and i just wouldn't wish this on anybody else so i'm praying for anybody and everybody that's going through anything similar to my circumstances um and i pray that y'all are praying for me i'm just hurting all over and i'm looking for a resolution lies like within money and it's crazy that money rules the world like this but it does like I can't get help with my pain because I can't afford it right now and that's just like that's beyond me that's just crazy to me how you can do people like that because I'm such a service oriented person I don't I don't think of I don't really think of the output you know I think of the of the long-term reward of helping someone and 
so for me to be treated this way and just you know have to be introduced to the it's just the realities of the world it sucks but um thanks for listening this far guys um i'm about to go home and rest i did go to work today for a part of the day and i thank god that my new employer has been so workable with me because if i was at any other job i probably would have been let go by now or been written up or something like that but um despite all of this i thank god and success and clarity and yeah I'm just gonna stay prayed up and that's it but you know as I always say major savages cure MS I feel like they already have a cure and they're just wanting us to pay in the meantime but um that's neither here nor there so um we gonna work this out man I'm gonna try to come up with a solution to this disease and at least to pain management if it's the last thing I do on this earth man I'll devote devote my whole life to it because you don't even understand I can't even describe my pain to you 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 wouldn't understand and I don't even want you to so cure MS major savages and praying for everybody have a great rest of the day and I hope you have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year